It is so fresh. Beautiful Florida night here at Universal Orlando. Cowfish is always seems to get good reviews. It's this mm -hmm. burger sushi hybrid Asian kind of thing. Yeah. But. So we're excited to check it out, and then we're just gonna see where the night takes us. Again, it's a beautiful night here. Mm -hmm. The parks are open till nine, nine so, so we might go back in. We might try to find some dessert. We'll see where the night takes us. Let's get to it. And so how we actually got here tonight was from the Universal water taxis. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really cool. So Universal Orlando Resort. Uh, the parks and City Walk and the resort hotels are all linked by uh, a river, basically, and the water taxis run along that. And so we picked one up right from Royal Pacific. It dropped us off right here at City Walk. They run about every 10, 10 minutes, minutes or so, and it's complimentary, so it's really nice. Yes, and you go through security right there, so you don't have to do it when you get here or to get to the theme parks, which is fantastic. We have a reservation for Cowfish, but they're running a little behind, so we're going to go head inside and check out Universal's brand new studio store here at City Walk. It, it literally just opened like Within not even last... two weeks ago. Yeah. Yep. yeah, they've been working on this forever. There was big construction walls last time we were here. Yeah, so let's go check it out. Okay, poll for you guys. I wanted to get matching Thing 1, Thing 2 shirts. What are you doing? <laughs> I wanted to get matching Thing 1, Thing 2 shirts for the vlog for us to wear on one of the days. Andy refused. But maybe if enough... <laughs> nope. Maybe if enough of you comment down below that you want us to wear those matching shirts, yes, he will do it. So leave those comments. <laughs> thing 1, Thing 2. Table's ready. That was like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, dinner time. lime juice and mint so again typical Moscow meal. and for my drink tonight I got the Florida lager out of Cape Canaveral Florida it's 850 I don't know what brewery it comes from but when in Florida have the Florida lager that's really good our uh, waiter Rashid recommended one of their burgushi which is like burger sushi <laughs> So it's like, it's a sushi roll, but made with burger ingredients. But he said it was one of the most popular things that they offered here, so we knew we had to get it. But it is called the All-American Bacon Double Cheese Burgushi. It is seasoned premium black Angus beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, and applewood smoked bacon wrapped in soy paper and potato strings, then flash fried. 
topped with dill pickle, red onion, Roma tomato, served over house-made cowfish sauce, topped with ketchup and mustard. Oh my god, that is a long description. It is $17. I already saw it go by. It looks amazing. Really excited to give that a try. Okay, so we got it without the sauce because Andy just doesn't like sauce. So I'm putting a little bit of all three sauces, ketchup, mustard, and their cowfish sauce on the burger. The burgushi. That's it, right? Okay, sorry for the big bite. That was a really big bite. I love the fried potato strings around the sushi. This is a home run. This sauce is insanely good. Insanely good. I would get that as a meal on its own for one person. You have to get this if you come here. We clearly hated it. <laughs> it's, it's really good. Jenna said everything good about it, so uh, really tasty. For my entree tonight, I got the Texas Longhorn Burger. It is a beef burger with cheddar cheese, onion strings, jalapeno bacon, tangy barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato on a brioche bun. And it is $15. For my entree tonight, I got the cowfish bento box, and it is $17. It comes with a mini slider with cheese and onions, and then a choice of your sushi roll. I went with a spicy tuna tonight, and then it comes with three sides. And I went with the three sides that they suggested, which was sweet potato fries, edamame, and Thai cucumbers. So I'm really excited to try it. This is like a very signature thing here. Our waiter recommended it, but it's a little burger, a little sushi, so gotta have that when you come to Cowfish. So we'll let you know how that is. Everything really complements each other. The, the spicy cucumbers and the edamame, even the, the slider I was telling you. I don't know what kind of beef blend it is, but it, it is delicious. It was really, really good. Every single thing we had, that burgushi, is that how you say it? Burgushi. And my bento yeah. box, like the sushi was so, so fresh. Every single thing was delicious. Even the Moscow Mule, I think I'm a Moscow Mule person. Yeah. That's not like a thing I'd normally get, but it was so refreshing and really good. Same for me too. Yeah. The, the burger was awesome. The jalapeno bacon had a nice kick to it. The patty, like the beef was like probably the standout thing. Um, I asked for my barbecue sauce on the side because I don't like the burger to get like super soggy and the burger was juicy enough so I think that was the right call. It was $75 before tip so well worth it. Yeah um, that the, was very well priced the, for what we got. The food was great. Uh, Rashid, uh, our server, was amazing. Mm -hmm. He was very attentive. One thing to note, it, it runs a little slower in there so if you are yeah. trying to like get home or get back into the parks Take that in mind. Um, we were probably there for like an hour and a half, and like things were. It was more like an hour forty-five ish. Yeah. Thing, things were kind of coming out a little slowly, but we got through. I mean, we weren't like in a huge rush, but yeah. if you are trying to get somewhere, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. But we have a little over an hour left in the park, so I think we're gonna head in and see what we can do. It's pretty at night with all the purpley light. I was gonna say much different than earlier today. Oh, oh my God, it's night and day, literally. Yeah, seriously, what a difference eight hours in a theme park makes. Like it's, uh, there's still a, definitely a sizable crowd here. Nothing, nothing like we saw at 12:30 this afternoon. That was just nuts. But yeah, we just got into Universal, uh, Universal Studios, and uh, gonna see what we can find. Pretty at night. 
before. Yeah. You are thank you. Amazing ice cream, Andy got some too. I have the apple crumble and the clotted cream. I knew I had to try the clotted cream because I lived in London. I was obsessed with clotted cream and eating an ice cream is delicious. So you have to come get this ice cream when you're here. I'm really impressed with the flavors at Florian's. Last time we got a strawberry peanut butter sundae, which is something Harry orders in the books, and that was delicious. But these flavors are just so fun, and the apple crumble and the clotted cream just go really well together. Kind of all together tastes like an apple cheesecake or something like that, but a really great way to cap off the night. All right, so we had a fabulous dinner tonight at Cowfish. Yep. We had delicious ice cream from Florian's. I'm obsessed with that ice cream place. Really? Everything I have there is so good. Really good. Yes, but that's going to be it for this video. Full day tomorrow. I'm getting yes. up pretty early to uh, take advantage of both parks, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss that video. But again, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.